Hello, I'm Marco. Welcome to one of the last episodes of our Luxembourg campaign. Uh, let's see what happens in this episode. I don't think that um, the Soviet Union will uh, uh, last much longer. So we were uh, we ended the last episode going after Sweden. Let's do a quick stop here to grab these divisions. Looks like we are going to be attacked in Moscow. Good luck with that. Yeah, they gave up immediately. Now well, this, this is actually not very good. We are going to connect with the with the Moscow, and I really, really like uh, having all those supplies and fuel there. Whatever. So let's go kill more partisans, more rebels. We have more there. Yeah, we have a lot of rebels uh, in here, um, over here. So this troop should be enough to take care of Sweden. Yes, I hope so. Our uh, light cruisers should um, be enough to defeat their navy too, but uh, we'll see. We have VPs here, just this one. This is worth 5 VPs. Probably should start by attacking uh, Stockholm and capture their supplies. I totally forgot about uh, North Africa, but I don't have the forces to capture this, so probably Italy will, will end up uh, this, uh, with Libya, but I don't, I'm not sure. That seems very likely. Grab this. Yeah, they are about to surrender. They have two VPs here, uh, five here, and um, another nine are within our uh, reach. So, kind of left, kind of screwed. They are kind of screwed. Okay, looks like I'm having supply problems. There. Um, object is almost achieved. Cool. So let's see where we're on Sweden. Sweden just joined the um, Comintern. Comes their fleet. Be able to hold and destroy most of it. Not yet. Ok, 
Okay, so let's attack Stockholm. Shouldn't be very hard. Rain sucks, but so do these um, garrisons. Okay, we capture Minsk. So they're really on their knees. 96%. The end of the Comintern is very near, this is their biggest fleet. They are going to lose ships. Nope. But they are in bad shape. If these two VPs are enough to defeat them, now we should. Oh crap. Oh, it doesn't matter much. I will end up with most of the territory anyway. So I want to conquer this. conquer uh, Sweden as soon as possible because we still have to go. After uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Afghanistan, Xinjiang, and uh, China, I think that's they are the last ones. Yeah. These guys are roaming free. Go to Stockholm. Go to two uh, divisions. This is probably the first time I see this. To um, uh, nationalism divisions moving uh, side by side to another province. Yeah, two. They're just gonna die now. Watch this, it's much more important. It seems uh, very likely that the Soviet Union will surrender after losing this VP. We'll see. And they lost another one there, so they're screwed. Yeah, 100% surrender progress. And that's it, we managed to defeat the powerful Soviet Union as Luxembourg. Uh, very interesting. So yeah, let's continue with our invasion of uh, Sweden. And let's look at the map before they surrender. We are very near uh, Stalingrad. And we are going to take all this ground from Japan uh, through war goals, which is awesome. 
We are going to pop it um, under occupation, but I believe they will become our puppets. Mongolia and Tuva, if they're still alive, no. So, yeah, just Mongolia then. We'll see. Okay, uh, so the game says that we won, but um, not yet. I'm going to continue this to the card territory. If puppet, oh, two is still alive. Yeah, it's here. So they are now our puppets. The Soviets are gone. Uh, the next hour, the, their divisions will disappear. We took uh, all this ground from Japan. Our IC and uh, leadership is now very, very high, extremely high. And power per month should be insane. Yeah, almost 200 per month. Lots of reorganization to do here. Now I need the... Uh, I really need the paratroopers. And Persia uh, somehow escaped. He's now free. So, yeah, and Libya is, belongs to Italy now. This, this was all, also freed. But what really matters is that we have, uh, in the, we have Europe, uh, we have uh, most of Asia, we have Africa, we have uh, also have. Uh, North America, South America, Oceania. So most of the world is ours. Let's go kill more rebels. Set new um, borders for these headquarters. Wow. Well, we're just going to disband uh, all headquarters or most of them and assign everything to a single headquarter oops don't want to do that this headquarter is working just fine so um, my plan is to use the paratroopers to conquer um, probably Afghanistan and uh, especially China and the last uh, um, this last member of the Comintern. I don't think we have time to strategically redeploy and to with brown troops to um, to the border of Sikiang and after and uh, conquer them because we are too far. I can be wrong. Why where is the Okay, this guy, will, this will be our uh, only headquarter. So, one new quarter, Stalingrad. Detach all units. Should have another one. Leningrad. So I'm going to attach them all to um, the theater, the headquarter that controls this area, which is the this one. 
So it currently has 2.2 million men under its control. Put it at Blitzing and they will take care of uh, all kinds of rebellions and probably start uh, redeploying units to here. Yeah, it already acknowledges the front. Name these two Marines. Of course, they are not Marines. So, what's next? This leader. In charge of this. Okay, that's all. Guys are attached to the headquarter, yeah. Let's detach them. That's why I don't like to use these. Let's go. Okay, it's working, so let's go. We already have wasted uh, too much time. If I have to capture another VP, I probably have to catch, capture that VP too, but we will see. Okay, uh, since the Soviet Union surrendered, now we annex the US. RIC should be much bigger now, we don't have... and we don't need all these units now. I can probably disband... Uh, Almost all of them. If I need the officer ratio, I, I will do that. Right now, I'll keep them. I need to... Uh, my paratroopers to have a 100% uh, officer ratio, so... is not there. Okay, whatever. So let's go. Leave one division behind. no one there and that's enough just in case I'm gonna dump troops here The other governments in the exile were all annexed now. These guys are the only ones left in the commuter, and we are not at war with them. At least not yet. And yeah, uh, Sweden is gone. That if he was enough to take them out. So uh, our time is up. I'm gonna end the episode here. But before I do it, let's have a look around the map. The only ones left are really only uh, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, 
Xinjiang and China. And of course rebels. Let's have a look at uh, our military. The amount of troops that we needed. We already saw that we had a 2.2 million men, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 2.2, uh, almost 2.2 million men. Almost uh, um, 1,600 uh, brigades, a lot of troops. So thank you for watching and take care.